It's the Picture This Show. It's the show where we explore possibilities in wearing your imagination. I'm your host, Jamie Newberry, and today's show is about springy butterflies. Are you ready to do some springy butterflies with me? All right. All right. So here's how we decided on some springy butterflies. Um, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and there's a place locally called Springs Preserve, and their butterfly sanctuary just opened for you know, for however long it's open. Um, I need to look up the dates, but I want to go. I want to take my girls there and I want to experience the butterflies, but I decided I wanted to have a butterfly themed dress to wear. I wanted to dress for the occasion. Um, I'm not a huge wearer of dresses. So, you know, for me to want to wear a dress has to be a special occasion. <laughs> but anyway, so what I decided to do was um, make something and demo. And again, it's going to be a total experiment. I haven't tried this before. I just had an idea, a picture in my mind, and I want to see if I can make it work. So I thought, you know what, let's just try it out. Let's see what happens. That's what this is always about. It's just exploring, using your imagination and seeing what you can bring to life. So I'm going to just experiment live in front of you and we'll see what happens. The materials that I brought for today I went and got some cardstock and I basically, I just got this like, it's kind of just heavy construction paper um, and I found it at a craft store and there were lots of really cool colors and I really, really, really kind of wanted to do this pastel lavender color, but I think I'm going to stick with the darker purple for now. So it's still sort of a pastel purple, but I'm going to stick with that one because I found these amazing little bottles of paint at Target and they're just these basic acrylic paints. They're tiny little bottles and they had them in a section um, of Target where they do a lot of little crafty things like you can find little pom-poms and they do a lot of seasonal stuff. So it being Easter and springtime, there's a lot of really cool pastels. And what I love about displays like that at places like Target is it takes the color palette thinking off of, uh, you know, off of my brain. I don't have to worry about color palette thinking because they do it for me and they provide all these little bottles of paint that go together, kind of no matter what you do with them, they're gonna look awesome together. They're gonna work well together. So I find that that's really cool. Um, and they've already pre-thought your palette. So I'm gonna work with this palette. Um, you can kind of see my bottles of paint. I put the white one over here too. You can see my little bottles of paint and, um, and what I want to do is, I've got that, I'm going to be working with a hollowed out picture this clothing dress template. So I printed out my template from our website, I cut out the inside, I left the black outline, and um, could probably do a little cleaner job, but hey, it's all right, it works, right? So, and what I like doing, um, why I like doing that is because it gives me a chance to create a little more free form on a paper and then position the, the template right over the top so I can capture it exactly the way that I want. And if I need this as a guide, I can you know move it on and off and, and reference it frequently. So um, I started a little experiment with my flowers here. I was just trying to see how it would work. And this is part of the reason I chose the darker paper because these pastel colors kind of looked washed out on the lighter paper. I like it. Um, the paint's still kind of wet here, but um, I want a little more contrast. So here we go. You guys ready? All right, the other materials that I have, I have a whole plethora of brushes here, and I have some paint left on it from my experiment. I didn't wash that off yet because I'm going to still use that blue. All right, so I have some brushes. I have a cup of water, some paper towel. I have my template, my construction paper, and a variety of paints, which I keep sticking my arm into. That's all right, it's all fun and low key here. All right, and the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna create, um, so I, I had this vision in my mind and I don't know that I'll be able to articulate it perfectly, but I had this idea to do, um, I wanna wear a dress that's mostly purple, but maybe it has some butterflies, just like a little flock of butterflies coming up from the bottom down here on one side and just kind of trickling up. Um, and so it's more of a solid color up here, little butterflies trickling from the bottom. And maybe there's some flowers in the background. I don't know. 
know, let's see what happens. I'm gonna start with my white paint and a fairly large brush, and it's got a little spot of blue on there. It's dry, it's all right. Um, I set up, it takes me forever to set up for this stuff, these live little demos. Um, so sometimes I make little little messes before I've even shared anything with you. All right, so gonna move this over. I kind of have an idea of where the bottom of my dress is gonna go. I'm gonna put a little mark here I want it to go about here and here. And the cool thing about this is now I'm going to move my template. And with these little marks, I'm going to do um, kind of the impression of flowers. And so with a nice big brush like this, you can do like just little daubs like this, almost like you're making little X's. Twist the brush this way, that way, this way, that way. And what that can do and then I'm gonna just keep dotting it, like little dots. What that creates is a nice texture in the background. And you can layer the paint up, let it dry. You know, the thicker it is, it's gonna stay wet. So um, for me, I like, I like it when the brush is still a little dry and the paint isn't too thick or built up just yet. I'm gonna build the paint up as I go, as I start to layer on some butterflies. But for now, I kinda of wanna just give them a fun little, maybe it's a little flowery background. And if you really wanna get more um, of the like impression of flowers in the detail in the back, you can take a tiny little brush. Let's do this. I'll just get a, a small brush and so you can see the two side by side. I'm gonna use this one again, so I'll set it aside. But with a smaller brush, just the tiniest little dot on the corner of black, and you can add just some little little flecks in here that'll give it some dimension and some depth, which, you know, a lot of people say stuff like, oh, I can't paint, you know, I'm not a professional painter or anything by any means, but um, I did go to art school way back for metal sculpture. That was my, my emphasis. But, you know, you have to take painting classes and stuff there too. So basically though you just want to create the impression the impression of the idea of something um, looking like flowers or you know you might say that just looks like a bunch of little squiggles a bunch of little smudges that's okay I don't mind I don't take it personally I would love to know that um, what you think though if you have thoughts oh and I do have comments because I'm doing this live so if you're watching live Feel free to ask some questions. I'll look up occasionally. I'll see if I have any questions from folks that might be watching live. And um, otherwise, just roll with me, bear with me. I'll look up for questions toward the end. Um, and I'm just gonna run this until I get something that I think gives a good suggestion of what I hope to be going for. I'm gonna grab another little brush here. Now, this has mostly dried already. Just in the moment that I was talking about the little textures and stuff, um, most of this paint, and it's, again, it's an acrylic based paint. Oil paints take forever to dry. So if you're into oil paints and stuff, I recommend doing canvas and, and doing it right. But I'm just doing something that you could bust out, um, you know, some materials from Target or a craft supply store and, and just, you know, low key, keeping it simple. Acrylics dry really fast and I love that about them because if you're gonna layer paints up, which I wanna do now, um, it really gives you the opportunity to work a little more flexibly that way. Um, oil paints are awesome and build up, but that's a whole different school. <laughs> so maybe we'll do an oil paint um, lesson or something or tutorial one day. All right, so I wanna just create some butterflies. What color of butterflies? I think yellow might be fun. Let's start with some pink butterflies though. Um, and I'm just gonna dip, I prepared uh, the lids for these little jars over here. I poured a little bit of paint into um, the lids so that I could not have to dip them into the bottle if I need to mix paints, etc. All right, and I got another sort of mid-sized brush. So I bought a brush pack. If you go to a craft supply store or even like the section of Walmart or Target um, where they have paints and stuff like that, you can usually find like a mixed brush pack. You don't have to get anything super fancy. It, even watercolor brushes are good. The only thing with those is often you'll lose bristles along the way. So, all right, let's see if we can get like an idea of a butterfly here. Just something that kind of looks like a butterfly. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like a little X almost, right? And if we can get a few of those on there, uh huh. Get a few little X's. I want a few little pink ones. 
and you can decide what a butterfly should look like for you, right? So I'm thinking we've got the wings, the big wings at the top, the little wings at the bottom. And I'm just gonna do a few of those and it might take me a few to get the shape that I really want. And it's all right if they don't look precise at first, you can always go back over them. I, they look like little bows to me, so it's, it's kind of funny. And it is interesting too, when I look up and I see how it looks, you know, I look at what you see there, the colors look a lot lighter. So I'm actually glad I chose the darker paper. Um, so yeah, the colors look a lot lighter. I think it's the lighting blowing it out a little bit, but that's all right. Bear with me, we'll, we'll keep going here. All right, so we got a few pink butterflies. I'm gonna do some little tiny ones. You know, I talked about it kind of trickling up, like little butterflies, like a flock of butterflies dispersing out into the dress. That's what I wanna see. So I'm gonna kind of keep going here with just little, almost like little blurry X's. And um, with little blurry X's, maybe four polka dots put together, because we can elaborate on these and, and make them um, more butterfly-esque as we go. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going with a few blurry X's and um, butterfly, blurry X, blurry X. Some can be fat, some can be skinny. They don't all have to be the same, all beautiful. All right, and then let's pick another color. Um, and with this one, I just choose whatever brush doesn't have paint on it. That's how technical I am here. So just to give you a size comparison, the white brush that we did, um, or the brush that we used white paint to do the little dollopy background, um, compare side by side. This is an angled brush, better for detail. Um, but I'm not too worried about detail at this point. I want to try some green. I have this, it's called pistachio color. So I'm gonna use this pistachio, ooh, that's really pretty, and do some more blurry X's for my little butterflies. And it's okay if they overlap each other. I'm gonna really cake on some paint here because I want them to you know, stand apart from the pink and from the background. So yeah, blurry X's. I just keep making those blurry X's. Blurry X's, I love blurry X's. All right. And I'm gonna to try to make some tinier ones, tiny blurry X's up here. Boop, boop. I make a lot of sound effects, you have to bear with me. <laughs> so, all right, so little sound effects with my little blurry X's. Little blurry. Maybe we want a couple more, They're just like trickling up here. Now, um, with my blurry X's, don't worry, they'll get better. You just gotta trust me. All right, so kind of just giving an idea of how this is gonna look. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Okay, so um, let's do one kind of a mid-size blurry X over here. Let's do maybe a bigger one over here as if um, really big one. And you know what, it is so okay if you get it on the template. See how I painted right on the template there just to show you that it's okay to get it because anything outside this black outline when you take your photo is not gonna show up on the dress. What shows up on the dress is everything inside the black outline. So when you cut out the center of your template, um, if you want to just keep that in mind, that's always super helpful. Um, I love these little butterflies and I want a few more kind of going over here. And you can see that like, it doesn't have to be exact. Again, it's just little blurry X's to give the impression. And I, you know, don't, don't let excuses stop you from trying stuff too. Um, you know, people say like, oh, I don't have, I don't have the talent. I don't know how to draw. Um, Shelly, hello. I see some folks are actually joining us live. Shelly, Megan, Ken, Stefan, Stefan, hello. Um, it's so good to have actual people joining along. I never know what time of day is the best time of day to do this, where people might actually um, join in but it's so cool to see. We are gonna post this um, when it, you know, after I'm done here. So you may not be watching it while it's broadcasting live. So for those of you that join us later, hello. Um, let's try another color here. I have, that was the pistachio. Now I'm gonna try this one called Robin Egg, which interestingly, I have a blue and I have a, what I would call a, a green, more of a teal. The teal is the Robin Egg and the blue one is called Satin Sky. So. 
interesting, but I'm going to try this robin egg. I want to get a few of these robin egg ones in here because those are a very pretty color. I think I need to cake up that paint a little bit more, make my blurry X's just like I was. And now what's really neat is when you're done, um, you know, you can let these dry and to add more detail, you can go back in with different colors on top of the tiny blurry X butterflies. So like I might do that is, you know, go back over the top and add, you know, a lot of butterflies they have like, um, while I'm here and I have some paint, let's go into this little pink one here and add some of those little circles. Like, you know, you see butterfly paintings and real butterflies. They always have multiple colors on their, on their wings. Um, maybe I'll give some others some different colors here. Let's try some yellow. I've got a nice yellow, like really lovely little sunny yellow color. Let's try adding some little dots here. Yay, it's so fun. Can can a different design, I have a question from Shelly. It says, can a different design be used in the back or one design for the whole dress? I'm not sure if I'm understanding your question correctly, but if you mean a different design in the back, you can use quite literally anything that you can take a photograph of um, inside one of our templates or lay one of our templates. So if you see this, I've hollowed out one of our templates and even the background that I have here, the background that I'm using here is a Play-Doh version of Van Gogh's Starry Night that I made. And I just laid down the t-shirt basically to work on top of, but even that could be its own dress. So a different design can be used in the background. If you have something that you wanna use in the background, hollow out, I recommend hollowing out a template, laying it on top, and then you can customize it further. You can do anything you want. And that's really one of the beauties of, of picture this clothing is that there's just so much flexibility. I think a lot of people go, oh, well, you know, my child doesn't know how to draw yet, or I wouldn't wear that ugly piece of art. And, you know, art is completely subjective. And I personally find it all kind of amazing and beautiful. It's really personal. And it's really, um, you know, it's an opportunity to stand out and be unique. And, and if you're not that bold, you can decide how bold you want to be. Like this for me, um, it's kind of a little more girly maybe than I might normally wear, but for going to a, a butterfly sanctuary, I just felt like I wanted to be sort of springy and pretty for that that particular event. And so I really, um, yeah, I was like, let me try something that kind of helps me push my own boundaries. But yet I want it to be something that I made because I don't know. I think that it would be super fun. Hi, Kaylee. Thanks you for joining us. Um, you would love to hear more about our setup sometimes. So the setup, I will talk about um, maybe in another video or maybe we'll post some information. But basically, my partner, Ken Finney, who um, helped me start this company, he really is the brains behind the setup. He's, um, He's uh, really smart and really talented, and he took the time to kind of figure out how to do this where it's me, little over here, and then this background is my hands, <laughs> alive and in action. And um, man, I have to tell you, it's really cool. And we've gone through a lot of iterations of, of this sort of thing where, you know, first we just started with an iPhone and I set it up and I talked to it and we did a bunch of live stuff that way. And the feedback that we got when we did that was that folks really wanted to be able to see what I was doing better. And so um, so that was pretty cool. Now, Shelly has another question. Could you make a design for the front of the dress and a different design on the back of the dress? I would love to be able to do that one day. We're not there yet. Right now, the front and the back are identical. So we duplicate the front and the back um, onto the dress. So it's never a blank back. It's never a white. Um, you know, our fabric always starts off white. And so I always recommend really, you know, filling up the white because I think the colors print beautifully. Um, the, the products just look so much nicer to me when they're full of color. Um, white tends to be a little bit transparent. So if you were, you know, wearing something underneath, um, you can often see through it a little bit with the white. It's a very light and stretchy fabric. And I have a, over here, this is um, kind of touching it. We have a video. Um, yes, Kaylee, we do offer t-shirts and we do adult sizes, kid sizes. We do sizes um, extra small through three extra large. Our t-shirts run on the smaller side. So size up when you order a t-shirt. Our dresses run true to size. But yeah, right now we only have the ability to duplicate the artwork on the front and back. 
rather than um, two different designs. But one day we hope to get there, one day. Bear with us. <laughs> so, all right, so I have these little butterflies um, kind of doing their thing. I really love the questions. I th thank you so much for joining me today. It makes it so much more fun um, to do some stuff like this and actually have, know that there are people out there um, watching and listening and interested. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna keep making my little blurry X butterflies here. And you know what's interesting is I was talking and kind of painting um, some of my colors got a little mixed up and I actually think it made it better. So you know, this is one of those things where you never know when you start something like how it's actually going to turn out. At least I don't. I'm not that like well planned, but I love to create. I love to just spend some time, let my mind go. Like it's amazingly therapeutic to just sit down with some paper and some materials, whether it's paint, whether it's markers, whether it's crayons, whether it's Play-Doh. We're going to do another Play-Doh one pretty soon too. But, um, you know, whatever it is, it's so nice to just play, to just create and to make something fun. So, um, and not really be super tied to the outcome. Like I kind of like how this is turning out. Um, I'm not a stickler for, I guess, like stereotypical perfection. My idea of um, beauty is, is kind of like trying something new, doing something a little different than what everybody else might see or do, and, um, and just playing with it and, you know, not stressing out about how it looks or if it's not perfect, if it's not, you know, amazingly tidy. And, you know, all the, all the more power for those folks who, who really are, um, you know, <laughs> who like order and tidiness and that's awesome. I think that's great. I wish I had a little more of that in me. I don't. Um, I like crazy colors and chaos and fun and <laughs> not that you can't all be fun, right? Anyway, so this is kind of just, um, it's, a, it's a reflection of me and um, I think that that's what Picture This Clothing is all about. Is It's not about being a reflection of me, but every creator is able to represent some piece of themselves somehow. And maybe that's using ready-made stuff. The last video we did was using favorite things. And we used some building blocks and we used stuffed animals and we did some really cool demos on the last video. So if you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend checking it out. And um, you know, it's all about having fun, experimenting, pushing boundaries, expressing your individuality, being a little different. Um, you know, and that's one of the things that I love, not just for kids, but as for adults too. Um, you know, yes, maybe it's one style of dress or it's a t-shirt, but you can, you can express so much um, through just what you put on it, right? Um, and I'm just adding some like interesting little black bits here and I'm wondering if maybe I'm actually creating a little bit of a background. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh boy. Now I'm going crazy. All right. We're going to add some black all throughout here because I want to give it a little depth. Once I looked up and kind of saw it, I was like, oh, let's make more, more of this depth. I kind of like that. And then our little butterflies can kind of come up and through the background. And yeah. I like it. So I'm a huge fan of um, impressionist artwork, you know, Monet, Van Gogh, Degas. I'm, I'm very, um, I'm very big fan of the impressionist era of artwork. And I don't know, like the, I mentioned the Starry Night. Um, this was made from Play-Doh and it's currently, it's a shirt and I have it on fabric here. Um, but you can find that in our little gallery. We started um, a store on our website of pre-made designs. And there's a video on there. If you go to picturethisclothing.com and you go to store, there's a little navigation item store. And there's a dress with Van Gogh and the t-shirt we'll be posting soon. Um, but there's a how-to video under there. And you can check out, I did a time lapse of how I made the Starry Night Van Gogh out of Play-Doh. And it was a lot of fun. I have to tell you, it took a couple hours and I had to learn how to keep Play-Doh damp during the process, but it was so much fun to just experiment and see what happened. All right, now with my little butterflies, something that I don't have are those little, um, you know, they have those little antennae that come out and I wanna add some of those. So let me find the right brush with the right paint on it because I've already dirtied a bunch of brushes over here. So I'm sure I've got something that'll work. I do, I do. 
And I want to start adding just like little wispies here. This brush might be a little bit fat for what I want to do. Let me try a different one. What else do I have over here? Oh, I have one that's, it's just like a mid. I've used it for yellow, but it's really skinny. So I think maybe yellow is actually perfect. And I'll just get a little daub of uh, yellow on here and maybe wisp on some uh, little antennae looking characters here. See how it's just like little impressions. Anyway, I was saying, I am a huge fan of the Impressionist era. And what's really cool when you study Impressionism um, and that style of artwork is that, you know, it was more about giving, you know, they put all these little dots and little blobs together. And maybe that is all it is, is it's just a bunch of dots and blobs to some folks. But for, you know, for the you're trying to capture um, something, the more that you practice it and the better you get at it, uh, the more that you can create that illusion almost of, or you create what you're actually looking at. I, I'm not actually looking at anything for this um, as far as a reference, but I want to create the impression of butterflies kind of springing up. And it, it, you know, it could be flowers or it could be butterflies. Um, my hope was butterflies and I can kind of see butterflies in there. But if, if the impression that you get when you look at it is spring flowers or just flowers, I'm okay with that too, because it totally works for what I was going for. And I, I like that. I'm pretty excited about this. Woohoo! All right. And then, you know, something else, I'm going to leave this design like this. I'm going to print this and I'm going to share it when it's done. Um, but it does take us usually a couple weeks to get these turned around. And so it'll be a video in a week or two. I will show how this one turned out. I think that I'm really happy with how it's going. And something I'm going to do, never forget, <laughs> always add your name. Um, and I'm going to use a big glob of paint to add my name. But your name will go inside the hem of the shirt or dress that you create. And so I find that it's really important to add your name. This is my name, a mix of caps and lowercase today. And it goes in. So our, our team is really good about using the actual, if you use your, you know, your handwriting or this will be painted in, um, it will look just like this inside the hem of the, of the dress, which I'm making today. And I think that's super awesome. It's just one of those really neat things. So um, it makes it personal, it kind of, you know, it makes it, yeah, like in addition to being more personal, it's it's a keepsake. It's something that I can, I don't know, hand down to my daughters and they'd be like, oh, mom made this dress and her name is in it. Or, um, you know, the pieces that my kids make, it has their name in the hem and it's something that I can save for them. And if you really want to, you know, we could get really crazy here and go, you know, 3 um, 15 is the date. I think it's the 15th. It might be the 6th. It's the 15th. All right, so 3 15 18. I could put the date in there too if I want, and that will go in there as well. So I am getting ready to wrap this up here. Um, but I want to, again, say thank you for everybody who joined us live. I really appreciate the questions. Anytime you have questions, we are always, always happy to answer as openly and honestly as we can and as quickly as we can. If you shoot us an email, um, hello at picturethisclothing.com, you should hear back in 24 hours or less if you don't we didn't get your message. <laughs> and sometimes Facebook is the best place to reach us. Um, very responsive, as responsive as we can be. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave this there. And I'm gonna say like, again, I'll just show how this looks. I ended up painting with the template on, but you could paint an entire picture without the template and then position your template over it and get just what you want. I'm gonna leave this so that I can take a photo of it with my smartphone. What I'm gonna do, and you know you want to get a nice evenly lit photo and then upload that on our website picturethisclothing.com i'll hit the dress tab i'll upload that picture um, i'm going to double check it after this video is over and make sure that i got it nice well lit and evenly framed up when i do this without really looking who knows what i ended up with but um that's what we look for with with an image we just want it to be nice well framed up evenly lit your picture is our only reference to the original artwork. That's what we work from. And it is quite literally just a reproduction of your photograph that we are, are making. And then we're, you know, we're scaling it up. So it's got to be a nice high resolution image. It's got to be great color that reflects 
exactly what you made. Um, we want to be really true to that. So, um, so that's it. All right. So yes, if you have questions, awesome. Please ask. I'm always happy to answer. If I didn't get your question answered this time in this video, you can either leave it in one of the comments and I'll respond a little bit later, or I will respond in the next video. So awesome. Share these. If you like what we're doing here, share it with a friend. I really appreciate it. We're a tiny, tiny little company just trying to get the word out about what we are doing and who we are and have some fun together. All right, that's it. I'm going to say thank you and have a great day.